Francis is our resident fish expert. If Tom wants predator fish, Francis is gonna have to figure out a way to make it happen. He's gotta make sure that these fish can get along, that they're not fighting and eating each other. Francis, Tom Rogers Aquarium. Okay. I need your help. He wants predators, and the last thing I wanna do is take two fish that don't get along together and end up killing each other. So take me through it. What can we do? What kind of fish can we put in there? Matt doesn't realize that when he promises a client something, that makes my job a lot harder. I have thousands of fish to choose from, but I also have to make sure that they're compatible. If I just put a bunch of aggressive fish in Tom's tank, it's gonna be a bloodbath. You can tell if they're gonna be compatible generally by the size of a fish's mouth. In a predator tank, if a fish can fit another one in its mouth, it's gonna try to eat it. So the first thing I have to do is find a big predator that doesn't have a huge mouth. You want predators, lionfish. Lionfish, yeah, of course. They're the quintessential predator. They have venomous dorsal spines, which are along the back, and pectoral spines, which are along the sides. If another animal comes in contact with those and gets pierced, it's gonna inject venom into their tissue, and that's gonna be a very unpleasant experience. A lionfish, that's a great start, but Tom wants lots of cool-looking predator fish for his tank. Ooh, check out the red rhino, man. Wow, right now, I kiss. love these fish. As cool as this fish looks, I don't think it's gonna be a good fit for Tom's tank because it's an ambush predator. Ambush predators like to hide out and strike at their prey. It's trying to mimic a piece of sargassum or other macroalgae at the bottom of a, of a tank, and you just see it sitting there. It's gonna rock back and forth, and one an unsuspecting fish happens to swim by it. It's, it's lights out. Tom doesn't want a boring tank. He wants to see a lot of fish swimming around. That means I have to give Tom some non-predator fish. Fish that are really colorful and that are gonna be active and swimming around in the tank and won't get eaten by the predators. So what I have to do is find some fish with built-in defense mechanisms so they could hold their own against a couple predators. This is a cool fish. What's that? It's called a soap fish. They actually secrete a really toxic mucus that deters would-be predators. Fox-faced rabbit fish, they have a really cool characteristic. They're actually venomous. So they have venomous dorsal spines, and their yellow and black coloration warn would-be predators to stay away. And that like tells it. them that these are venomous fish, oh, I really? shouldn't eat them. Because of the fox face's characteristics, I think it would be a prime candidate for a non-predator in the predator tank. These are some good options, but I'm not gonna solve this riddle today. I'm gonna have to think it through some more and make my final choices later. If I don't come up with the right species mix, Every fish I stick in Tom's tank will likely die. I have 100% faith that you can sort this out.